My name is Daniel. I'm the director of engineering at ReThinkDB. I'm really excited to tell you about our new release, ReThinkDB 116. ReThinkDB 116 is one of the biggest updates we have done so far. And we have a lot of new features and improvements in this version. One of the big areas where we have done improvements are change feeds. With ReThinkDB change feeds, you can subscribe to a query and have the database server tell your application whenever the result of your query changes. This makes it really easy to develop real-time applications for the web or other purposes. In ReThinkDB 116, we have extended this feature, and you can now uh, listen to changes on a lot of new queries, including maps um, between queries. Uh, you can do min-max queries, order by queries, and a couple more. Another area where ReThinkDB 116 uh, brings you a whole set of new features is administration of clusters. Previously, it has already been really easy to administer uh, sort of smaller scale ReThinkDB clusters with a web interface. And now you can do all of that and also additional, more fine-grained um, configuration through our new Recall Admin interface. Recall Admin allows you to monitor your cluster and configure it through Recall queries, which makes it very flexible. Let me show you how that looks like. I set up a cluster here with two servers. And I created a small table, which I called demo. And this table is currently replicated over both of the servers. If you go down here, we can see that server 2 has automatically been picked as the primary replica for this table. We can now use recall admin to fine tune this configuration. For this, I'm going to switch over to the data explorer. And I've already written the beginning of the query. The recall admin interface uh, works by representing the current state and configuration of the cluster in a ReThinkDB system database. And one of the tables in this database is the table config table. If you look into it, we see this one document down here, which actually represents the configuration of the demo table. And we can now change the configuration simply by writing to the table. So I'm going to put an update here and change the shards field to a modified value. So let me start out with the current value of it. And now I'm just going to change the primary replica field to server one. If I run this, we can see that it has replaced one element in the table config table. And going back to the table view, we can see that it has changed the primary replica to server one. You can download ReThinkDB 116 on our website, or if you have any questions or feedback, uh, feel free to drop by on ISC or uh, open an issue on GitHub in our issue tracker. Thank you.